Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. The PlayStation Store Halloween sale is well underway at this point, and today we're looking at part two in my Halloween sale series of videos. This one is 10 games under $10 on the PlayStation Store. The sale has some real banger deals in it, so let's dive into the video and we can take a look at these 10 games. If you're a new viewer of the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I make new videos like this every single day on the channel, looking at the latest PlayStation news, sales, deals, bargains, things like that, as well as all the latest trophy and trophy hunting news as well. We're currently working towards a 10,000 subscriber giveaway on the channel. If we can hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this month, we're going to be giving away a PlayStation 5. So make sure you subscribe so you can stack it up with the content and you can go in the draw to win a PS5 if we hit that goal. Today we're looking at 10 games under $10 in the PlayStation Store Halloween sale. Some amazing deals in here, let's get started. First game on the list is Watch Dogs 2. You guys know what Watch Dogs is. What Watch Dogs was a bit of a disappointment, right? But Watch Dogs 2 made sure to improve on everything in every single way from the original. Third person open world game, kind of like a futuristic Assassin's Creed, and that's probably the best way to describe this. It is a Ubisoft game, so a trope of needing to do everything and there being a ton of filler content in this game as well. But it's a great open world action adventure game. You play as a hacker trying to take down the man, essentially, in this, this sort of sci-fi kind of semi-futuristic romp. It's set in San Francisco, which is a really cool setting for a game like this. And honestly, this game is just a ton of fun, has a lot of personality, and I'd highly recommend checking it out. Especially if you're looking to get Watch Dogs Legion at the end of this month. Picking this up now for 10 bucks would help prepare you for that game immensely. Next up we have Dragon's Crown. Dragon's Crown is a really neat 2D side-scroller hack and slash game, I would say. It came out a number of years ago now, so this one is a little bit older, and it did actually kind of see most of its life on the Vita, I would say. It has come across to PS4 though as well now. It's got this really neat art style to it, this really cool fantasy setting with these really well-designed character models and this really cool beat-em-up hack-and-slash 2D side-scroller gameplay that uh, you don't see that often in sort of AAA style games like this. I mean, it's probably more of a AA style game, but you kind of get the idea. Normally it's a lot of indie games that play in this space. Now, this is kind of an unusual one, The Order 1886. I do have a bit of a hard time recommending this because the game isn't incredible. It's, it's a perfectly good game. For $10, I think it's worth your time and it has a really easy platinum trophy to go with it. So you're gonna be able to earn the platinum trophy in about six or seven hours if you follow a guide. The game is very cinematic and the cinematics in the game look absolutely incredible. It lets itself down though in the gameplay, which is very limited and short. There's not a ton here, but for 10 bucks, it's an easy platinum trophy that's a good one as well. Uh, it's, it's not a bad game and seeing what they've done in terms of cinematics in this game is actually very, very impressive. If it was any more than that, I'd probably say it's not worth your time, but for $10, I think it's worth checking out. For Honor! Before we start, I'm not allowed to show For Honor gameplay because Ubisoft always claim me when I do. For Honor is this cool multiplayer centric, I don't know what you'd call it, third person hack and slash game. You play as these three different factions, a knight, a samurai, and a barbarian, and you're, you, you, you have to fight. It's kind of like this fantasy of these three, like, factions coming together to battle each other. It's, it's a primarily online focused game, but it does still have a pretty strong online community as well. If you're into another sort of third person hack and slash online game for cheap, this could be worthwhile for you. But remember, it's been out for a number of years now, so coming into it at this point may be a bit more challenging. Trophy wise, it's a little bit harder than most as well. So it's worth keeping in mind given the amount of online stuff you're gonna have to do. Prototype 2. Now I know the gameplay is pretty rough here. This is actually PlayStation 3 gameplay of the game. This was a PS3 game that got ported to PS4. It did get enhanced slightly when it came to PS4, but it's a very old game. It came out in like 2010 or 2011. So really old style game. However, it's a lot of fun. You play as a superhero, he's kind of been muted and you have to go through and do all these missions. Think kind of like Infamous a little bit, but darker and you've kind of got the vibe of what this is going for. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the newest Saints Row game, Saints Row 4, when you have a lot of superpowers and you can kind of just go through the environment destroying everything. This is the same deal. You're super overpowered and you just get to play in this sandbox with superpowers. Pretty straightforward plat on this as well. Uh, so if you're looking for an easy platinum, could be worth your time. Zombie Army Trilogy. This is a series of three games that, that originally came out on PC a number of years ago and, and got ported to PlayStation 4 earlier on in the generation. They recently released Zombie Army 4, which is the sequel to these games. But this package here combines three different Zombie Army, oh, Zombie Army games in it 
They're third person action games built by the same people who made these Sniper Elite games. There's a focus on obviously sniping. So if you're into that, then this could be for you. Basically going through these zombie horde environments, think kind of like COD zombies, but as a campaign and in third person, sniper rifles, and this is kind of what's for you. It's a really crazy story about taking out these zombies in the war in World War II, and uh, it's, it's actually a really neat game. I played this quite a bit back in the day, and the new game was really fun that came out earlier this year as well. Now, I'd say not many of the games on this list have been too spooky yet, but The Evil Within is definitely a spooky, spooky game. This is this is Bethesda's attempt at a Resident Evil style horror game, and honestly, they actually did nail it. It's really good. The game has its challenges and, and shortcomings, but as a third person horror game in that kind of genre of Resident Evil, Silent Hill, it absolutely is amazing. It absolutely nails that vibe. It was actually developed and created by the original creator of Resident Evil as well. They had significant involvement in producing and developing this game. It was so successful, in fact, that it went on to get a sequel uh, a number of years later. We haven't seen a third game in the series yet, but I'm sure it is coming. I've recommended this one before, but Alien Isolation is a phenomenal game. You play, it's, it's, it's based on the Alien franchise. You play as Ripley's daughter as she's exploring a space station, trying to uncover what happened to Ripley. It's, it's this really cool game of cat and mouse. It has these, it's very similar to how Resident Evil 7 had its persistent characters exploring the world and you had to avoid. This is the same with the Xenomorph and you have to avoid him at all costs. He's just always persistently there. You can't kill him. You just have to make sure you minimize your experiences with him by hiding, by running, by, by, by just avoiding him at all costs. And it's just a really neatly developed game. It's got a cool vibe to it because everything is so random as well and nothing is going to be the same twice. If you're after something really spooky, this is definitely the one for you. Kind of less horror, but I guess like there are only things in it so neo third person hack and slash game is also ten dollars on the playstation so this is an awesome deal for this game this one here is very similar to dark souls in terms of how it plays slow methodical combat where enemies deal a significant amount of damage and you don't have a ton of health uh, it's one of these ultra hard games but fear the same way that dark souls is neo is amazing it has this really cool setting it has a really nice combat loop to it as well Given that Sekiro came out shortly after it, it did take away from a lot of its thunder, but I wouldn't underestimate or count this game out. It's an awesome, awesome title and well worth checking out if you're into Souls-like games. So the last game on the list is The Mummy Demastered. This is kind of an unusual one because this is probably the only indie-ish game on the list. This is a 2D Metroidvania style game. It came out at the same time as the new Mummy movie did and I thought it was just gonna be a, a terrible cash grab, but the game's actually really, really fun. A lot of elements that are akin to the old school Castlevania games, 2D side scrolling, you've got your mini map in the corner, you need to go through levels and then backtrack when you unlock new skills. Very similar to any sort of Metroid or Castlevania style game. And the gameplay is just really actually fun. So if you're after a Castlevania style game, a Metroidvania style game, this one's probably for you as well, and it's only 10 bucks on the PlayStation Store. But there you have it, guys. That is 10 games for under $10 on the PlayStation Store. If I'm being honest, all of these are awesome deals for 10 bucks. Like, you can't go wrong given the price being so low. If I was going to call out any specific highlights here, I would say Watch Dogs 2 for $10 is an awesome price, and you're getting so much game for your buck there. Or if you're after a spooky game this month, The Evil Within is a well produced spooky game, and for 10 bucks, again, it's a phenomenal deal. For that title. Let me know if you're going to be checking out any of these games below or let me know which games you are playing at the moment. I'm curious to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Yes, I do stream on Twitch. I stream on Twitch almost every single day now. I've really increased the streaming times. I'm starting to really enjoy it over there. So feel free to come over there and say hi to me. If you want to have a chat about anything trophy related, PlayStation related, you want to ask any questions to me specifically, jump over on Twitch, come and say hi. I'd love to have you over there twitch.tv slash tptjosh. Now stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We have seven games under $15 on the PlayStation Halloween sale with even more awesome titles that you can pick up. Make sure you come and check that out over there. Comment of the day comes from my good friend, Monkey Flop, who just said first. He, he was just the first one to watch my video yesterday. I don't know what this is. What kind of what kind of world is this where Monkey Flop is watching my video? Thank you, Monkey Flop. I appreciate you. You're a good man. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video.